Good morning, buenos dias. Um, just for a proper introduction, my name is Michelle. Welcome to my channel, Adventure She Craves. I'm currently in Monterrey and it's nine in the morning and I'm a little anxious. I'm not really scared to walk around, but instead of like Ubering, I am like, honestly, it's like a 12 minute walk to the hospital and it's 9 a.m. at the moment, so I need to get my COVID test done. And they told me to go in like an hour before because right across the street is going to be like a COVID testing center. But um, I'm just a little anxious about that timing. So I'm going to go early, which is now. But I know I have to eat, but I can't really eat until I get something like really important done. But I'm going to try my best to go eat first because there's like a vegan restaurant around the corner. So I don't really want to like not eat because I need to eat right now um and I think it's safe to walk around honestly regardless of like being so foreign and new to like an area I just feel very familiar and comfortable but I feel the anxiety obviously when fierce instilled in you obviously like I did my research well aware and there's only so much I can do obviously I'm not that aware of this area but I think it's safe to walk around I see people walking around but mostly men um, I wish there was more people so I can get a better idea of what to wear, so I'm just wearing my jeans. Even if I'm like sweating out there, I don't have the outfit, the appropriate outfit for this weather. Because I'm mostly staying indoors for the next three weeks after my surgeries. Um, so yeah, if I keep looking outside, it's because I'm trying to catch anybody passing by. Um, but yeah, I'll probably take like Ubers later to like the supermarket and my surgery but i think right now i want to just see how the walk is because i'm carrying a lot of money later today to pay for it so i don't know if i should walk or not so that's why i want to do an earlier walk to kind of get a better idea of that and then go from there so i'm like so anxious but i'm like i have to be patient i have to like eat and allow myself to take the time i have more than enough time to do the COVID test, come back, and then go back again to the hospital for my consult, well, following consultations. So I'll let you guys know how that goes. I'm so sorry if I keep looking off the camera. And it's been a while, every time I vlog, if you watch this channel, y'all know that. So um, get comfortable with the uncomfortable, which is probably a good um, encouraging mantra I should follow, so yeah. <laughs> At least I know like when I need to get like things done, like check things off the list i won't get anxious because i'm like okay these need to get done check 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 so i'm like and i'm not too comfortable with every the area so usually i feel more confident and then when i get too comfortable that's when i get anxious to go back to the same places i went the first time but i feel better now literally even though i just recorded that like a second ago um but yeah i'm gonna go get food and then i'm gonna go and i know how much i'm gonna pay in tip and then I'm going to go to the COVID. So I don't even know if I'm gonna include all this talky part in. Like, I don't even know how this is gonna be set up as usual, but um, I wish I have a, had a vlogging camera so not everything's on my phone and then I can kind of multitask, but it's fine. Um, and my, by, my, by the time my sister, she comes in at midnight tonight, she's gonna have like a phone case. Um, I forget what it's called. I think it's called a gecko case, but it's like has nanotechnology on the back so I can stick it anywhere I want to have a proper tripod and just like when I'm out and about, if it works out, but instead of just using that, but yeah. Anyway, I'll try not to make these like too rambly, unless I have like something philosophical and analytical to share, which I usually do. So it's just like, I feel weird talking to the camera without it set up at a good distance where I feel comfortable and look good, where I'm not scrouching down to be in the shot but I'm also not wary that if it's picking up audio or not, or not, which it probably isn't, or because I'm like whispering a bit because it's very echoey in here, so. Okay, bitch, let's go. Let's go, bitch. Let's go. <laughs> Okay. 
let's get my Pepsi Cola, Coca Cola Light to talk about today. I feel a lot better, I feel like more myself, like I can talk, I'm not anxious. Um, should I keep the light up or not? I don't know. Yeah, let's keep it up. But okay, so basically, I'm gonna have a drink first. Again, ignore my hair as per usual. So basically, actually, actually yeah, I like that because maybe. Okay, so basically, okay, so basically, today I went to the vegan restaurant. I don't know what macros are, but I got my macros in with that bowl macro, and it was so good. And it was so nice because everyone's been so friendly, everyone's been so kind. Um, my Spanish is so bad, and so far not everyone knows that much English, which is totally fine. And they've just been so sweet about it. They've been so patient and sweet about it. And even like the waiter was trying to say like, "Do you like bread?" And I was like, "Yes, si pan." I was like, no, let me, let me adjust to you. Please do not adjust to me. I will speak my best Spanish as I can. And then, um, so yeah, that went really well. I eat always, I always eat really, really fast. So that, I tried to eat slow and I ate for like 25 minutes, which still felt fast for me, but it's fine. I got everything I need to get done. And when I went to get a COVID test, so basically right across the hospital is a Farmacia de Al Oro. And Al Oro offers like clinic um, COVID testing. So I did the one that's like 15 minutes. So I waited there for 15 minutes. Thank goodness it was through paper because I don't really have service and I'm like going off of Wi-Fi. So um, I was able to take a phone call though on the way home. So I don't know if I have service now or not, but I'm gonna see if I can order Uber when I'm at the hospital, because I can walk there and back. Um, like the whole goal of like figuring it out if it's safe, if I'm comfortable with it, like it's totally fine. Even if I bring in like a lot of money, I feel fine with it. Everybody was walking around with back backpacks. There weren't that many people, but it's pretty car dominated public, but still I'm gonna be wary, but it wasn't as bad. And I felt comfortable with it. And that's gonna be my travel route for my appointments today, later today. When I see the internist who's gonna go over my lab work at 2.30 and then I'm gonna see the surgeon. We're gonna talk about like just the technical stuff um, that we're gonna work with before the surgery tomorrow. So I will update you guys on how that goes. But yeah, I got my results. Estoy negativo. I have a negative COVID test, thank goodness. Cause this bitch literally on the plane, this child <laughs> literally at the end of the flight faced the back of the plane and me and this other i was sat here it's like three three seats me sat here this other woman was sat in the other aisle seat and in front of us was like this whole family just very unhygienic at the start of the plane like not to assume or percept per, or do the whole perception thing but i was really right like it was just like very inconsiderate to the flight attendants everyone's really cordial and compliant but then they were just like so unhygienic not really following safety precautions and stuff but um one of the kids and i don't blame the kid obviously like they were taught and i just looked looked at them and i'm like i just knew because you're so familiar to me but i was right to assume just the inconsiderate energy but basically the child like she sneezed forward and out towards like the back of the plane towards the aisle and the lady who was sat here it was directed like, kind of towards her so she like kind of like bolted to the side and then the child was like um wiping her like nose and her snot on the seat and then the woman like bolted and jumped to the back of the plane and i'm like oh my gosh this is so gross i'm i felt so bad for her because it was towards the middle but towards further her direction than mine um and i was the only one wearing a mask which is fine everybody else wasn't wearing a mask i was the only one which is fine because you know covid is said to be over but for me i'm like this is why, because y'all nasties, y'all still be sneezing. Like, you have no idea the amount of people who would sneeze, like, into their hands. Like, on the plane, on the way boarding to, on the, onto the plane, and then on the way to customs, everyone online would just be like, a chew, like, right into their hands. And if they do the elbow thing, it goes obviously past, like, some people would go, like, a chew. Like, it would literally, like, go past. They're not even, like, trying to cover it. But a few years ago, when I was back on Extra, I used to cough into my elbow too, like that. 
but obviously there's better ways i just wasn't aware and thank god this guy told me like why are you doing it like that you should go in like this into your shirt and i'm like oh my gosh i love that i love 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 that i've never thought of that i'm doing that forever and always so i've always been doing this now but um you know you have no idea how many people still do into their hands or even wipe it on other stuff like that kid on the seat and then i'm like oh my gosh i hope these seats are clean <laughs> that was nasty or do the elbow thing i don't really trust the elbow thing because it goes past but they'll like intentionally go like this and then go like this a chew a chew like it's it's not doing anything even if he was going in here it's still not doing anything plus you gotta walk around with that like gross but it's better just to go like this um and if you have to walk around with it bitch you're gonna shower later so please but i was like this is why i have my mask because i'm getting a surgery and i cannot risk anything financially speaking because i cannot so um yeah thank god i came out negative but that was a hell of a ride it was definitely comfortable and i had nobody in the seat next to me um there was like somebody in the window seat no one between us and then me so it was so comfortable and um it just sucked because also the same family had another kid and they were the kind of people like if they take public transport who blast their radios or their phones out loud and you're hearing their cartoons or games without them wearing headphones and it's like can you please wear headphones like we can all hear it and the flight attendants weren't telling them to like turn it off so i'm like fuck i can't read my book now am i gonna get overstimulated on this flight so i ended up listening to like the third book to the summer i turned pretty and then i watched like the first half of like shang chi so yeah made it through my knees were hurting but we made it through and then by the time i went to the airport and i was like so happy to get like go to starbucks they literally like stacked up their chairs like three on um, on the line like three chairs stacked up onto each other and i was like y'all close y'all close i was so looking forward but it's fine and then um um right past the starbucks there's like atms on the side like two of them and i was trying to take out my savings and it doesn't do that even though they have the option to so checkings is always the way to go so i had to transfer money for my savings to my checkings and then past that point was like the like the area before you go outside and in that area everyone's lining up for taxis and that's where i didn't have wi-fi so i was like okay i have to stay where the starbucks is inside to order this uber screenshot the name and the uber license plate and then go outside knowing it's not going to connect and hopefully it doesn't cancel it but thankfully the guy was already there and then it was also like such a nice ride i felt like kind of uncomfortable to even ask to film um so i tried my best to sneak in here and there but it was like quiet the whole way but you know when we tried to talk a little it was like oh no my spanish is that bad or i can't understand um because obviously if you're more fluent you speak faster it's not as like enunciated a lot of it blends in not for everybody but like most people so it's hard for me to kind of understand but um, if I had like the ear for it in the everyday, it would be like something I could pick up. But unfortunately, I don't have that. But I wish I could like perfect that. Um, but yeah, so what was I talking about? Um, oh yeah, so then the Uber, he was really nice. Um, when we left, you we were saying like, you know, Buenas noches, like have a good day, have a good rest of your night. Um, and then it was so sweet because it was just very kind when you're very kind and like patient with someone whose Spanish isn't really that great. Um, he was like saying goodbye and like fist pump with me, which is really, really sweet. And then later when I had an Uber Eats driver like arrive, he was so kind. Um, like bien provecho, like enjoy your meal. Um, but so sweet it was just like the energy like don't have to say much it was just like the personality which is very very hospitable very kind so far everyone's been like that here so i really appreciate it um but i just love how they're just like very very patient with me but i think they see it in like a cutesy way maybe but um because i'm a little it may come off awkward on my end but it's fine but yeah so anyway that's like so far the journey from the airport to today so flight done the walk to the hospital and back done and it's good for me to do that with money and then my COVID test and check so for the rest of today I'm just doing appointments and then I'm paying for the rest of the surgery and all these other stuff and then I'm doing a huge supermarket haul to pack this fridge up for however long I can um and I'm gonna do that alone because my sister her flight gets in like at midnight tonight so 
um, I'm gonna have to do that. The only thing I'm worried about is like the Uber situation because when I'm at the supermarket, if there's no Wi-Fi, I can't really figure out a way back unless I can pull out a taxi and trust just off the road. So it is what it is. I'll figure it out. But yeah, so hope this isn't too long of an edit, but if it is, I'll just break it up. You know, this is gonna be three weeks of a journey, a lot to like edit and get through, but philosophically speaking, um, I'll talk more about that maybe later tonight, but this is gonna be like the film setup, I guess, because this is the only convenient tripod I have until I get my sister to bring me my like case where I can stick it on the wall, but it's still kind of very annoying because it's like you can't really zoom in or I don't want to put my phone too far away because of the audio I don't really have then off the phone itself because I really love the shots it's like very Wes Anderson just like this shot the shot on the couch with the light at night you know the bed but I still want like the camera up close while I'm speaking um because I don't really have a proper camera setup and the microphone as much as I would love that but I can't afford that at the moment but yeah so that's my day that's my past couple days the only thing more I have to add is probably my carry-on was fine. They were trying to make me pay for it as a check-in. But when I leveled it, I was like, oh, but the line, it's the same height. And she was saying how, but it's the width. Like, it's going, like, when you put it in the in the canister, it was going past the canister, like, width-wise. So I was like, are you kidding me? Like, it's not that much. It's not that crazy. So I just had to take, like, a bag of, like, clothes and put it in my backpack. Thank goodness it fit because I had three books in my backpack which I'm planning to finish hopefully, and then I can leave it in the little library here that they have outside. Um, like kind of leave a book, take a book. So I'm hoping I can leave that behind so I have more room just in case. But yeah, so I'm going to figure out the rest of my day and then coordinate tomorrow. But yeah, there's gonna be a lot of talkie points to this series. But yeah, so we're in Monte de Mexico if I didn't mention that already, but. So I'm so excited for this journey. I haven't even registered. I'm getting a nose job and a and mental plasty with my chin. So um, now that I think about it, I have to remember to do TikTok transitions of the befores to the afters. But if not, it's fine. But I really hope I look better. Look, like obviously it's not gonna solve everything and I'll have that conversation later in another video, but bitch, um, I really hope it helps out though. Like. I know I'm a Leo moon, so everything's in the hair to, for me to, to look good. And my hair naturally isn't on point. I wish I had like like curlier, wavier hair. I would love that, but like wavier. But it's okay. I'm so tired right now. I'm tired by sitting in this position, but I'll be okay. I'm gonna go now. But this is the place where I got the COVID test. So if you're planning to get a nose job or do you work with this specific surgeon and have any questions you can leave it in the comments below i'll definitely go into more depth with it and i'll try to remember to record it because it's been a while with vlogging i mentioned that already and i'm gonna do my best to film with my phone and remember to pull it out and not feel so uncomfortable especially when people are around um because i don't want to mean it in a disrespectful way i mean i do it because like i mean i don't do it because i feel like very anxious about it or just uncomfortable in the beginning because it's been a while but i also don't want to be rude and also i like i have um i can't really ask like i can't really tengo mucho muchas preguntas <laughs> like i have so many i gotta ask in so many different ways but i can't so i can't even ask like hey is it cool if i film um i mean i'm not saying it in a way like i can't translate it for myself it's just like i'm just so uncomfortable with even asking or taking up space which is like respectful but also like not respectful respectful in the sense of being considerate to the people around you and like the community but also like to the extent of where you can film and all you have to do is ask and you're allowed to take up space but it's just been a while and you have to get used to it and um you'll get more settled into it but that's why i feel like traveling with people makes that easier to film um, and be more extroverted, at least with me, I'm definitely more extroverted than when I'm traveling alone because a lot of the time you're like, I love being alone, but there's definitely points where I'm like, I would love the journey more with people because then, I mean, for me, it allows me to be more extroverted, talk to locals more, um, and all that jazz than on my own. So, yeah, anyway, so, whew, I'm gonna continue the rest of
Okay, so I'm just preparing myself before I walk over to the hospital, but I'm just prepping my backpack. Um, all the money I put like in the bottom here, and I have this just to lock up the zippers with, just so I feel more um, less OCD cautious about it while I'm walking. So this is great. Just showed you my lock. Don't worry, I'll change that for the future now. But yeah, so basically I have um, the lab work. So I was supposed to get five different lab tests done. Um, I'll go through that in detail in another video, but like an EKG, like all that jazz. Um, oh my gosh, I just realized I have to like blur this out basically. Um, yeah, just like just like lab work. So I have my folder ready to go. And then I have my um, COVID test. So I'm just organizing everything. I have my notepad for when I need to ask him questions or when the surgeon and I will start speaking on um, just our whole discussion. And then this is the money, the money load. This is the surgery money. Um, so basically I already paid like, I think around 10%. Um, electronically just to reserve the surgery date but I do have like oh my gosh, I open this. but I do have like three envelopes just organized so this one has 83,620 um, this one has 39,580 and this third envelope has um, 11,800 because it adds up to the difference that I owe which is 135,000 pesos for the nose job and the um, chin implant. So yeah, so this is going to go in the backpack along with these two. This is where I kind of go through everything just like over and over again. Just make sure I have my ID, my money, my lab work, test, everything's ready to go. Um, so yeah, just wanted to show that for a second. I gotta fix myself for today. I gotta change back into my jeans. But um, I think I'm actually gonna try the Uber when I'm there and see if my service works. And then probably after the appointment, go um, because I'm gonna get all this in my backpack, so I'll have more room. So I'll probably try to go to like um, a supermarket and pray that I can get the Uber back just to test it out in the wild. My service. But yeah, I think it's just better if I go straight to the supermarket and um, uh, yeah, I'm like kind of like, I have no idea what I'm going to buy or what meals to even think I'm making. It's kind of like when I see it, I'll see it and I'll put it in my cart, but I know I'm definitely going to be like prioritizing fruits um, and vegetables, but I'm like, it's like when it's daunting to think about all the things ingredients you need to cook everything and praying that it's affordable too but i'm gonna definitely get a lot of juices because i'm not sure if i'll be able to eat after the first few days so yeah oh my god <gasps> my tripod i tap it through your phone falling in love It's so beautiful out.
never mind.
but everything's right. And awesome. I'll send this to Jasmine just to get into your file, but for, for my part, no problem at all. Awesome, thank you so much. It's so great meeting you. Thank you, you too. You have this really nice. Is he going by like? Oh, thank you. I get the line. So are you, so are you. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Okay. <laughs> Existe sentimiento que valga el dolor Ya lo sé, ya lo sé Si se apagan las luces se pierde el color Literally, so I still have time. I think it's around like five or six. I just don't know. I have it in me to go to the supermarket, but this is so important for me too. So I literally just went to Oxo and just got Takis and this. I probably shouldn't have this, but I'm gonna have it anyway because that was so long. I was there from like two fifteen ish to um, my point was at two thirty to um. 5 3 like 5 40 so it's like six o'clock i have to get to the supermarket i'm gonna look at their hours though because i just need a second to myself right now <sighs> my social battery um but i'll talk about the appointments a bit later <laughs> oh my gosh at least i know i can walk around and by memory so that's great but i'm just worried with the supermarket i'm not gonna be able to get an uber back and then i'll have to figure out a taxi situation but i'm gonna see if it's walking distance as well even though I'm gonna like store my fridge and that's the whole point um, But this is like so difficult without service and even when you pay for service Which is what's compatible with your iPhone is still not working even with your carrier Literally, I need to find a good carrier that works wherever you're going internationally because there's only one other person I've ever Met who had their paid service abroad work and it was literally in Puerto Escondido Somebody had like Verizon and they were able to go around Again, I'm not choosing any carrier side. I don't really know them well enough to know, oh, when's a favorite or not. I have Mint Mobile and I've had no problem with it so far, but literally when it's international, I'm like, <gasps> Mr. Worldwide, what do you use? I'm tired. Oh my gosh, ew. I need like a tripod for real. Me crying in real time. Oh my gosh, it looks so bad. My hair has gone through it today with the weather. Um. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my gosh, I'm just literally crying right now. I'm like, uh, I need lighting. Maybe I'll bring it right here, closer, because I'm literally crying right now. I'm just like, I had such a productive day, and I'm like, okay, I can walk to a two, uh, supermarket two minutes away. The one I want to go to is like 14 minute walk, which I was like, okay, I guess I don't have to worry about the whole taxi Uber thing. But um, I'm like, I don't have it in me. I'm just gonna get a bunch of fruit juices. I don't even know what to feed myself or anything. I'm just like kind of just like mentally and emotionally just like hit. Um, definitely like just drained, productivity exhausted. But I'm glad like it does feel like I still have more hours to the day, but I'm charging my phone right now. And then I immediately need to go shop um, down the road and just get whatever can fit in my backpack in the bag before, um, just so I have enough time in between me being here hopefully i'll get back here around like 7 30 or 8 versus when my sister comes tonight only because i need a good cry session and i'm already doing it right now so i'll probably push it off and the, i think the place is open till 10 p.m but i'm like i need a really good crush i won't be able to cry now that the camera's recording but um i'm just kind of like i don't really know if i should talk about it right now or later but um, I don't even want to say it out loud, but I think I'll talk about it after my surgery, like maybe in a week, um, when I feel better, especially with the nose and or whatever result I get to have. So I'm just going to my hair back because 
with the results that I have, I think I'll just like be able to speak and process it better. Um, even though I probably should do it right now, but it was just like something that was said. Like it went really well meeting the internist, uh, the I think the assistant surgeon after, and then the surgeon. But there was just like a shift in energy, um, and at, in the end, and then I was just like, I just felt like so, I just felt like a lost cause based on like kind of the tone, the energy, and just like the approach of the conversation. Um, and it just made me just feel like, just like a bunch of shit, like ugly and like different um, things I already had confirmed with myself alone. But it was just like, it just made me feel like a lost cause. Like almost like, yeah, I have an asymmetrical face in so many different parts. Obviously a nose and chin won't perfect. Of course it's gonna improve, like, but obviously it's not gonna give me the perfect result, result which I already knew. But it's kind of like when you see across someone's face um, and they look at you and just like, you feel like, you just feel like a lost cause. Obviously they didn't intend to, they are not seeing you in that way. It's very like a serious, like we were having. In the end, it was like with the third person I met with, it was just like a very serious conversation, which I was very prepared for, so that's fine. But I'll talk about that more in detail though, again, in, later next week. But um, it was just like, I just hated that energy. I just hated just reading that off of people. Like, it just like was just annoying and familiar and stuff. Again, they didn't intend that and they don't mean that. I know that, but I'm just like, ugh approach i just wish it was different or the way it was when i first met with this person um so i'm kind of just like it's fine like i already accepted about like however the result is if i don't like my appearance whatever right it's fine but then just kind of being set told like these will obviously improve but then at the end of the day you're just kind of a lost cause overall they didn't say that but it was just like it was just the way it was being communicated and in the tone and all this jazz so obviously like i'm affected at the moment i'll literally be fine I, i'm i'm literally like able to observe my emotions more than feel them but i really have been wanting to like feel and like have a good cry Ugh, god but obviously so my sister's saying for like five days i'll be here for three weeks so i'm like i need to get my good cry sessions um spread out bland even just like not even because anything's sad but sometimes like one stand-up comedian was talking about how he never cries but it's like not healthy and he has to like do at least once a month like cry session like one afternoon he'll literally like spend a day or afternoon watching like really sad videos on youtube just to get himself to cry like he needs to be sobbing crying and i genuinely stand by that as well i feel like it can be so cathartic and it's something that's so well needed but i don't like waiting around for that or i don't really um put in the time to self-induce it but right now I'm like fuck I haven't cried in so long so now it's all coming back up like even like last week I wanted to cry about something because there's like one little thing that was like bothering me and then when one, one little thing bothers you and then you get random things that pile on top of it, like you get existential crisis the thing you did like five years ago um you can get just like a bunch of different aspects in your life that you're not happy with just pile on even though they had nothing to do with the matter or the one thing that you were actually sad and crying about so yeah i just feel like rushed as well because i'm like i need to go to the supermarket i need to get myself back here um emotionally stable because i need to take phone calls home um to back home before it gets later for them which probably I mean, probably it is at this moment i don't actually know but um oh god it's just like having time there's plenty of time here but it's funny how it feels like there's more time here and pace to it than it it, it, there is back home I'm not saying because they're also two hours ahead um ahead like ahead but like like if it's six here it's eight there i just can't think right now but yeah anyway i need to get my shit together this phone needs to charge because the way this battery drains like so quickly is insane but yeah anyway wish me luck <laughs> wish me luck <laughs> tonight and tomorrow okay i'm back I also find it so funny because like every time I cry, I'm like, okay, I should document this. But then after documenting it, it stops me from crying. And I'm like, no, that's me like not processing or feeling my emotions and observing them, I guess. But I want to document. But I send voice notes to my friends before I like even film. So I feel like I add more details and like perspectives and aspects to it than I can when I rewatched my last video on this, just me crying and stuff. But um, one thing that I did feel 
better about was that I was seeing kind of like the whole time in like the waiting area and after um, just you know a bunch of girls who got their noses done and they had like you know um, the pat the padding here like the cloth and then the cast here um, and I just kind of just tell um, a lot of them were like Latina and then one person was Indian from the US and I could just kind of tell like they're gonna get great noses like they're all gonna look amazing um, you know some of them have more symmetrical faces than I do which is again fine regardless of you know conversation before I think genuinely it was just like you're just a special case which is fine um, but it was just like the energy and the tone and approach but it wasn't really what was being said because um, it was just like serious and professional but it doesn't mean that it has to be professional with that energy but yeah anyway no hate to anybody i'm like afraid to even like mention this because i'm not speaking down on anybody i love everyone who i met and it's been really great and um yeah it's just like i felt like a lawyer which is fine but i'm glad that i have the experience from um talking about this with other people who i've shared that i was going to do this procedure so so i just very like serious like being able to hold my ground, my facts, the research, the knowledge, monotone, just my presence, my language I can hold down in those situations. But also it could just have been like I was thrown off. So I wasn't, I was just thrown off going into it. Like if that was the first meeting, then it probably would have been normal compared to like how well, how at a high it was with the first person I met with. Um, but yeah, so. I feel okay now, you know, I just felt better seeing all those girls being wheelchaired out and just feeling, you know, good energy. And I did see 222 on the way there and I was like, okay, I've been seeing 222 anyway this whole time for weeks, so I trust and <sighs> girl for real. So yeah, we'll see how everything goes, but, and I'll probably talk, obviously I'm going to talk all about this, more details. I know this is gonna be like scattered, like more vlogging separately rather than as a whole. I'll see how I put this together, but um, yeah, so I'm gonna have to get my shit together and like get out the door now, but yeah, so I feel a little better now. I know I still need a cry session in about this, um, but I just felt so much better seeing all these other girls and then knowing I'm gonna be that, going out in a wheelchair and it'll be okay and it'll go well it'll work out um there may be some complications if they are found as we do the procedure so that's something i guess is the only concern in at the moment but um i'm not really too concerned about that because i really trust my surgeon very confident in him and his work um and regardless of how my case may be not as common but um yeah i just like hope it really does help me self-esteem wise like again it's not gonna make me um, look perfect or have like the perfect features or be the most conventionally attractive person ever But it'll just like improve a little bit, you know what I mean? So hopefully like they said like it'll make me feel better like it'll be a better version Than the before so again, we'll see how that is. Hopefully it all goes well um, But yeah, so Thanks for watching especially the talky parts but yeah I'm so tired. Don't worry, I do not wear my shoes on my bed. I've been on my knees. And even though it's my outside clothes, you know what, bitch? I was on my airport clothes on top of the bed. I was also going to go inside the bed. Again, I'm totally against putting your outside clothes on the bed, but I've been crying. Crying. I'm so sad. Like, I just need to lay down, not on the couch, but here. Otherwise, I would never. I would never. I refuse. I refuse. I refuse. <laughs> I refuse. I refuse. Me getting ready for the supermarket. You can try to resist that your heart on your keys. But you know, but you know it hurts. We are fighting the moment I think in the door. I surrender your heart. But you know, but you know it hurts. We are fighting the moonlight more. You can't fight it. You might find me 
just a little stray. You may find me just a little stray. Too high, but you better look at what you've got over here. Hello, okay. Now you know life is crummy, don't fall apart in the scene. Okay, let's go. Let's go to the super mode. You gotta be somewhere where there's nothing, you gotta be somewhere where there's nothing to remind you, right? Best thing that ever could happen. Happens. Can you tell I've been crying? No, okay, good. Yesterday is done. See the pretty countryside. It's really nice weather. It's really beautiful, actually. It's like a soft, warm weather. Oh my gosh, ignore how I look. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna. I can't help it. One day I can stop saying that. For real. Anyway. I'm gonna show you. It's so heavy. So heavy. Okay, honestly, such a success. Look at all that I got. Honestly, I think it's enough for now. And again, I can always get more or send my sister to get more this week, but this is what I got. A little food hole. All right, so I got, um coconut yogurt i usually don't like coconut but i know i'm gonna really 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 need yogurt for after my surgery so i have hummus to go with the carrots i have some baby kale so when i make a salad i got some italian dressing toilet paper which i almost forgot while i was packing my stuff so i got these for the salad i got some garbanzo beans because i could probably smash it up and it'll be soft enough for me to eat um of course i got hummus um to put into the salad to fill it up. So I got this for salads, um, toilet paper, just in case. And then of course I have to get my fruits and they're soft enough or if anything, I can always cut them up. But I got pineapple, watermelon, blackberry, blueberry, 
And then I got applesauce. I'm gonna love that, I know. And these, I got like baby food, mango and orange, mango, platano, y betabel. I got two of those and mango and zanahoria. So two of each. So I got those and then I got my electrolytes because I know I'm gonna want that. Um, after my last surgery, like April 21st, I knew like right after I wanted electrolytes, but I know this isn't a lot, but I think it's a good reachable mix, especially these and the yogurt. So I'm really happy with what I got so far. And it definitely was more than what like, oh my gosh, I have more. I forgot my backpack. I literally, I have more, I have more, wait. And then I like tried my best to fill up everything here. Thankfully it was only a two minute walk, otherwise I'd be dying. But, and I accidentally spilled the watermelon in here. So I had to rinse it in the sink in the bathroom because the water's not running over there and I'm letting it dry over there. So let me turn out to the backpack. Honestly, for this spilling in my bag, I'm really glad nothing spilled in my backpack, but look at these. I got some pineapple juice because I heard it helps with like bruising, mango juice just for flavor, jugo de naranja for me and my sister in case she comes home tonight and wants to drink something and just something healthy. And then I got some chocolate almonds milk and then some coconut um, water just for the hydration. And yeah, that's my decent food haul for what I got. And then it came out to a total of a thousand pesos. I don't know how to translate that to dollars right now, but I'll just put it on the screen. I'm just gonna say that was good because that's the best I could do. So now I'm going to go do some phone calls and then go through all this paperwork I have to do and go through my notes because I have to remember not to put moisturizer on my face or body and other specific things I need to get done. So the surgery, I'm gonna have to be at the clinic at 6.30. I could be put in between 7.30 to 9.30, but I'll be there all day recovering. So I don't really know what time exactly, but they said to get there by 6.30. So I may or may not be up all night and they said at least get water in you by 4.30 and my stupid dumbass. Well, honestly, I didn't have any more, more room to put in anywhere, but I don't really have much water. So I have like, oh, I got a little bit. Not enough though, but it's okay. I'll, I don't know. Maybe, oh wait, I can just have the coconut water. I was saving that for later, but I think she's gonna have to do. It's gonna be, tomorrow's gonna be a day. So yeah, I'm gonna do this. Tonight's gonna be a night. Also, thank God I remembered it's 6.30 because I got a shower tonight because it's gonna be the last shower for a while. So we'll see. Slay at my haul. Yes, I did that. Anyway, the before, before, before. I'll definitely get the before and after photos, but yeah. Oh, oh my gosh, Lord Jesus almighty. Time to get through all this. I have a bunch of consent forms. I have to translate. I have to go through all my notes. What to do, what not to do. I got my little dinner tonight. And then water and my coconut water with me. So we got these. And then these are the prescriptions I have to take. I will have to translate and get to know what they are. I have an injectable. No idea I was not expecting this. So I'm bringing this with me. I'm bringing all these with me tomorrow. Just so... I have it on me and I can ask them. So I saw somebody today, a girl, hand over like an injection to somebody and said, can you do it for me? So I'm gonna see when I need to take this. Um, but all that is literally in all this stuff that I have to translate, so that'd be fine. And yeah, so let's get to work. I'm gonna do a pretend montage since I have to use my phone to do all the translating and stuff. <laughs> Everything is actually sorted and translated this time. This is my pre and post op directions, and then I have questions about how to inject myself and other meds I'm not sure if I have to get, but oh my god, I'm so scared. <sighs> I'm not as scared, I just want this to be over with, but yeah, so all good. I'm gonna start packing away 
for tomorrow and shower after I eat my yogurt.